Happy Tuesday, everyone. We have a nice little doozy for you guys today. It's gonna be a nice, fast dish work set, we'll say. But it's gonna burn. So before we get to that, let's talk about the warm up. Our warm up is gonna consist of a plank lean of three erections for three to five reps, four pike hold for 10 to 30 seconds, bird dog for six to 10 alternating reps at three second holds per side, into our sumo squat for three at a three, one, three tempo. Two to three rounds there, just taking care of the core, the shoulders, a little bit of lower body, and then moving into the dumbbell work. So this next phase is just a lot of skill work, prepping, getting yourself ready, feeling the different weights or weight that you're gonna use for the workout. The workout is gonna, sorry, the warm up consisting of the dumbbells, dumbbell deadlift for three to five reps, dumbbell hang power clean for three to five reps, dumbbell front squat three to five, dumbbell push press three to five, and then a dumbbell lateral jump over for 20 seconds just to get the heart rate up. And then you'll rest a little bit, take it down again, three to five rounds, just to get things fired up. So this is a great skill set and, and a chance to work on some skills to make sure that everything's moving well, we're really warmed up in all the movements that we're working on today, so that when the workout starts, we can just attack it and have fun with it. The workout today is gonna to consist of five rounds. We're gonna take down 10 dumbbell push press. Then you're gonna move into 15 to 20, and that's a that's your choice of where you want to go with this today, of dumbbell hang clean. So that is a dumbbell taken from the hip into a full squat. So it's going to be a little leg burning, but we're not going to take it down to the floor in that power position or the floor position. So we're going to take it through that push press overhead to start the work set. You'll come back to the hang, and then you'll start doing that full squat clean from the hang. So if you need to rest in between these uh, two movements, that's fine. If you need to rest, um, each round, I highly suggest it because your forearms are going to start to get a little, a little tired, a little grippy, you might get there, but uh, it's going to burn, you're going to be able to cycle through it pretty quick, so buckle up and have some fun with this one, you guys. Remember the volume of the clean is really going to depend on how you feel today. Uh, you have five rounds, so that's anywhere between 75 to 100 squats in that, in that squat clean, so think about that for your legs and think about how squats sit with you as you move throughout the volume, all right? So let's get you prepped, ready for some fun, and we'll start it up. Hey guys, let's get those feet under the hips. We're gonna take the arms up big and tall. We're just gonna shrug our shoulders. We'll come down, we'll reach to one side. We'll come back up and over, reach to the other side. We're gonna come back up, and then forward fold. We're gonna touch those toes. Walk up those shins. We'll come down, frame your foot. We'll step back into our lizard, and then from here, we're gonna take the inside hand all the way up, and we're gonna rotate, forearm to the floor. We're gonna come back up, big stretch, rotate, forearm to the floor. And one more time, bring it up, and then rotate, forearm to the floor. We'll come back up, big stretch, and plant the hand. We're gonna step back into our down dog, reaching those hips high. We're gonna come back into our plank. We're gonna step that foot up. We're gonna do that on the other side. So setting the legs up good and strong, we'll take the inside hand all the way up, rotate towards the floor, come back up, and then rotate to the floor, and then take it up, and rotate to the floor. From here, we'll come back up overhead, we'll plant the hand, we're gonna step back with that foot, we're gonna step it into that nice down dog, we'll just walk those heels back and forth, nice and easy, and gentle and then from here we're just going to come back into our plank we're going to tiptoe those feet up we're going to roll ourselves up big and tall big stretch clasp those fingers press way up and reach just big stretch to the side and stretch to the other side we'll come back up we'll bring the hands down let's get you guys ready to go all right pause the video if you want to do a little bit more gentle warm-up for yourself I'm gonna get you guys going for that top piece and uh, get you guys ready to go for the work set. So our warm up starts with a plank lean of three directions. So I'm gonna turn profile so you guys can see the full board because that's kind of the more challenging piece of the two. So I'm gonna get my hands under my shoulders and I'm gonna establish that good plank first. So I'm gonna press my shoulders up, pull my ribs and hips into that hollow. I'm gonna keep my shoulders over my hands and I'm gonna lean to the left. And then I'm gonna lean over to the right. And you come back to center, making sure I maintain that tight midsection and pull forward until I feel you know, that little pressure in the hands and then press back. So I don't want you going beyond what the red.
wrist can tolerate, what the shoulder can tolerate. So it doesn't matter how far you pull forward, I just want you to think about initiating through the arms and pulling the body just a little bit in front of the hands and then come back. What I like to do in classes too is in between those three directions, uh, pause in between each rep, do a single cat-cow curl, reset the plank, and then go back in with a lean and go through those three directions again. So we have three to five reps of that for all three directions. If you'd like to add in the cat-cows, please be my guest. They're really nice. They feel good. And then you're going to move into the floor pike hold. So the, so the floor pike hold starts off in our tabletop. My knees are going to come together. My hands are going to stay under my shoulders. I'm going to pull my ribs and hips in, press through the shoulders. And keeping my shoulders over the hands, I'm going to lift my hips straight up. And if I want, I can tiptoe in a little bit to load the shoulders a bit more. I'm pressing into the floor. I'm looking towards my toes. And I'm really working on staying in that active overhead position, just like a handstand. I'm pulling in those ribs, keeping everything tight through the glute, and I'm really working on that hollow. So this is a great handstand trainer. It's one of those movements where we get to experience the tension, everything through the core, the shoulder, the glutes, but we don't have to worry about being fully inverted. So we want to really focus on that. You're going to hold that anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds. So I want you guys to make sure that you're giving yourself the dose that you need the most. You challenge yourself, but still maintain those key positions. So if you feel your shoulders start to turn off or your core turn off, just come out, rest a little bit, and then continue on. With the bird dog, so we're gonna challenge those shoulders a little bit more. So we're gonna come back into that tabletop. We're gonna separate the knees from the first one for that floor pike, and we're gonna turn into a nice normal table with space. I can pull my ribs in, press my shoulders up, and I'm gonna think about extending through my left hand, right foot, straight out, so I'm nice and level. I'm staying weighted over my hand and my balancing knee, and I'm reaching long. I'm going to hold for three seconds. I'll come back, and then I'm going to go into the other side, pressing that leg straight out, arms straight back, staying nice and stable, and then coming back through. I'm going to hold each rep for three to five, I'm sorry, three seconds per side, and I'm going to do six to ten reps. The big thing is trying to stay flat and level. So a really good thing to think about, you guys, in this movement is not think about lifting, but pressing. If we think about pressing that leg straight back, there's a better chance that I'm going to be able to stay level with my body and just to work on extending the knee instead of lifting the leg up. So think about pressing the foot and pressing the fingers forward, and that can really help with that movement. After that exercise, we're going to stand up nice and tall, and we're going to get into our sumo stance, so our sumo squat. My heels are going to be outside my shoulders, a little bit wider than my normal squat, and I'm going to focus on pressing my knees out just a little bit more than my normal squat stance. So I'm going to turn profile so you guys can see that in terms of my back position. So I start nice and tall, my weight is through my laces, so right in the middle of my foot. I'm going to keep my big toe down, and I'm going to sit down towards my heels, keeping my chest up, my feet flat, and my knees pressing out, and I'm going to stand up nice and tall. So it's going to feel a little bit different on that inner thigh, but we still want to keep those same true squat mechanics to the sumo that we do for the regular air squat. Quick recap for you guys, what we have, plank lean for three directions for three to five reps. If you want to add in that cat-cow curl between reps, be my guest. Floor pike hold for 10 to 30 seconds into a bird dog, a six to 10 alternating reps with three second holds per rep, and then a sumo squat for three reps at a three, one, three. Two to three rounds, take that down, get yourself heated up, warm yourself up well, and then we're gonna move into the next phase, which is gonna use the dumbbells. So pause the video, take that down, come join me for some dumbbell work. Our first exercise is that deadlift again. So we're gonna pretend and set these dumbbells up so that they're on the floor like I need to pick them up for the very first time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put myself right over top of the dumbbell. So they cut my foot right in half. I'm standing up nice and tall, I set my glutes and set my ribs, and I'm gonna do a sumo deadlift to start to get them to position. In the workout, we're just gonna do this to pick them up and get the dumbbells up to the shoulders because we start with our push press. But in our warm up, we're gonna use this to warm up the hinge. So we're gonna take it all the way down. So this can totally count as your first rep. So you're going to stand it up, we're going to transition the dumbbells to the outside, and bring our feet under our hips. I'm standing nice and tall, and the dumbbells are going to stay close to the side of my body as I take the hips back and down, 
working through that nice hinge, and then I stand. And I'm not going to worry about touching them to the floor. I'm just going to take them down as deep as I can. If I can touch the floor, awesome, go for it. But don't worry about that per se if you can. We're just warming up those hamstrings in that nice hinge position. I'm looking for that nice back position that we have in our good mornings and all of our deadlifts. Once we've done three to five deadlifts, I'm going to do a hang power clean. So I'm going to take the dumbbells to the knee position, and I'm going to drive through my legs, pulling into that nice squat, that power squat. My feet will come back under, I'm going to bring the dumbbells back down. So I hinge, maintain that good back position, drive through my legs, keeping those dumbbells close to my body, and then coming back down. So I'm going to do one more, and then I'm going to keep them up in the front rack. So I pull back through the knees, good back, drive through the legs, stand tall, fix my feet into my squat stance, I'm going to rest the dumbbells on my shoulders, and I'm going to work on that good front rack in my front squat. So I'm going to take my hips, my heels, my knees, track my toes, and my elbows stay nice and tall, which in turn keeps my torso tall. So I'm going to work on some really nice squats to wake up those legs for those cleans in the workout. Once I've done the squat, I'll pull my feet under the hips, and I'm going to work on that push press. So I'm going to get that good dip, so my hips are going to go straight down, my knees will go out, and I'll drive up through my legs into that good overhead position. I'll pull the dumbbells back down, I'll get that good dip, and then come back down, finding that good overhead position in that push press. It's very important that we work that vertical dip. If we allow ourselves to go back, we're going to make these big circles, and the better chance that the dumbbells are going to go in a weird circular path instead of straight down, straight up. So it's a little less efficient in terms of our, our body movement. So really focus on that little dip, knees to track the toes, and then drive through those legs and hips, saving the arms, because the arms don't need to do a lot in those presses, the legs and the hips do most. Right after those push press, we're going to move into that lateral jump over, and these are just here to work on waking up the legs, the ankles, get the heart rate up a bit. So I'll stand beside the dumbbell, two foot hop, little skip, or a step over high knee, or a low, it's up to you. So whatever you want to do, you can. Also, if you have a rower at home, or if you have a treadmill at home, a wall run, you can input anything in there that's gonna get your heart rate up, get some little, a little bit of impact in there, and work on getting your heart rate and your body heated up. So add in whatever cardio piece you want. If you're like, I don't have much, but I don't, you know, it's all you need. Just have a little spot right here. Work on some jump overs for 20 seconds, and have some fun with it. Works on some skill, coordination, and gets those ankles ready to go. Quick little recap, we have three to five rounds of that. Dumbbell deadlift for three to five, dumbbell hang power clean for three to five, dumbbell front squat three to five, and dumbbell push press for three to five. So mix and match, have some fun with those reps, and then you're gonna finish off the round with some dumbbell lateral jump overs for 20 seconds, or a little run on the car, or the treadmill for a little bit, row, bike, whatever you have access to at home, whatever you wanna work on, it's there for you. It's just a little bit of light cardio to get the heart rate going. Pause the video, take that down, have some fun with that, work those skills, take that time, so you can use that as a little mini strength set as well. It's gonna build some strength and build that chance and opportunity to work on those skills and the movements that we're gonna to use today. So pause, come join me for the workout. The workout today again, five rounds, woo, five rounds. Dumbbell hang power, or sorry, dumbbell push press for 10, and dumbbell hang clean for 15 to 20. So that is a full squat clean in that hang clean. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a doozy. So our first exercise is the push press, and we covered that already in our warm up. So if you need any like recap with the movement, please scroll back, check that out in the warm up, and have a listen. But what we didn't cover is the hang clean. We did a hang power clean in the warm up, but today we're gonna do the hang clean. So what we're gonna talk about is how the flow is gonna work in this work set. So I'm gonna clean the dumbbells up, just like I would in the beginning of the workout. I'm gonna do a couple push presses. We'll say that this is eight, nine, and I've done my 10th push press. I'm gonna come down with the dumbbells to the hang. And now I'm at my start position for the clean. So the hang clean, I'm gonna take my dumbbells to the knee, I'm gonna drive through my legs, pull into a full squat, and stand. I'll bring it back down, I'll move back in to the knee, hop, big drive, pull into that full squat, come back in. I'm gonna do one more time, take me to the knee, drive up, and then pull into that full squat. So we're gonna rock that squat nice and full. And again,
again, the full squat is a relative term. I want you to push to the edge of your squat. So whatever depth you can maintain position in that front squat is where we want to take it. So that's the difference between the hang power clean and the hang squat clean. We are going to take it all the way down to the depth of your squat. So it's going to get a little burning in those legs. Don't worry about rushing those. Just keep them at a pace that you can maintain for those higher reps. So again, pretty straightforward work set. We have five rounds. We have our dumbbell push press going overhead into our dumbbell hang clean, full squat, stand up tall for 15 to 20 reps. Pick your rep scheme at the beginning of the work set for your clean so you can keep it consistent all the way through. I'll also have a different um, round rep scheme for you if you'd like. So if you're like, ah, five rounds, I kind of wanted to go with 20 reps in the clean, but five rounds is a lot. You can also do three rounds of 10 and 20 and just take the volume down a little bit, but still work on the volume of the clean. So I'll have those options there and you can tweak it to make it yours, all right? So have fun with this work set, you guys. It's gonna be a burner. It's gonna be relatively quick as well, but it's gonna be a burner, so I hope you have fun. Like always, work for quality. Have fun, you guys. And let me know how this one goes. I'm really interested. I really like this workout when I took it down, so I hope you guys like it too. Have a great day, everyone.